Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. You guys are looking at some old footage from when I first changed my G920 wheel to the NRG Innovations wheel. I've been going back, reminiscing on my rig and how it's changed and how things have progressed, you know, with NRG Innovations as a coming on as a sponsor to, on the channel to where my rig is with my, you know, upgrades and everything like that. So this was back in when I first upgraded my NRG wheel in Forza Horizon 3 and it was when I put the mint green neochrome OG wheel on it that's what you guys a lot of you guys remember the channel for so it's been a long road starting off with the factory Dan 20 to what I have now and it's an incredible you know accomplishment something I've always wanted is you know this awesome sim rig this you know amazing thing that I could just drive and have a lot of fun with and you know have a proper setup so switching to the energy wheel was the first big step in my endeavor of doing this as you can see we were in horizon 3 in the parking lot section and we were just ripping and i'm looking back at these videos you know this was 1080p but it, it's just it's kind of blurry i mean the 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 quality of you know the recording software and everything i started using has definitely increased over time so that was like the first big play in my sim setup was that change that energy wheel we were using basically a uh airsoft barrel as a handbrake going on a push button and then i would say the most iconic thing that a lot of people know is my video about you know the customizing handbrake and taking the buttons and putting it off onto the side and thing you know like that and running the buttons on the side of my rig with a quick release just basically on it an old little quick release, my bunny rabbit right there. So just a old, you know, universal quick release that we had grabbed off eBay, you know, snapped the mint green wheel on with the buttons on the side. It was something I always wanted to do because I never wanted anything behind it um, because I didn't do much racing. So for me, it was perfect just to do it this way. And then we had just had the spinning quick release. Didn't have the energy quick release or anything like that. Just rocking the uh, mint green neochrome energy wheel. And then we progressed even more when NRG fully came on as a sponsor. And of course, NRG Innovations hooked me up with the bucket seat that I you know, sit in all the time now. You know, NRG Innovations coming on strong in the beginning when I started my channel new and continuing to support me and continuing to support, you know, the channel and my team. And it was just amazing, you know, when they sent that out to me, it was something I could upgrade my rig for. Definitely an amazing time, you know, getting that seat. And then we get into something that everybody knew about my rig and it's the, my wooden rig basically built table, you know, buttons on the side mounted up, couple, you know, monitors stacked up, you know, Xbox down there, kind of a mess, you know, wiring mess everywhere and just, you know, just cluster of wires and it was just, it was, I was doing what I could and we ended up getting over to the handbrake and you know modifying the handbrake everybody was you know really giving me you know funny comments about why i was just crammed then in there and of course you know right back there is that infamous uh, corona bottle that everybody noticed in the video back when i did this in 2018 so it's been a long road and it's been um very fun you know great appreciative of the community something i've always wanted like i said is, is this is amazing sim rig something i was always a big fan of when i started drifting on my g920 and racing with it before that i had a driving force rig and everything like that so after that we went into having the sequential shifter mod that i built and we set up a newer style table setup with you know the sequential the just a tap you know keep calm and drift on and we still rock in the Giant Tony. We had the um, AM Studios quick releases and everything like that. Still rocking the monitors, but we had painted the base. We had a couple more wheels to add to the collection and things of that nature, which definitely was incredible to add all of that with energy, you know, coming on board and, you know, getting some nice suede wheels and things of that nature in the long run. And then something came that was extremely big for me and that was getting my Fanatec set up getting my Fanatec set up and having a proper I would say sim setup Fanatec you know is definitely a higher end wheel set you know with the full pressurized pedals and everything like that so I know I got a lot of uh, grief when I went to the Fanatec setup because everybody knew me for the G920 and the customness but I definitely wanted to upgrade my 
rig and get the Fanatec. So we went into the full Fanatec setup with the shifters and everything, and we just you know had a blast with it. Definitely enjoyed it, and you know my energy stuff went right onto it with the quick release and everything. So then we get into the built rig that I made a tutorial on, something that I was really incredible and happy to build, something that was simple, cool, and I could build and make almost like an actual rig style. And I was like, all right, well, we're going to do this and maybe paint it, maybe wood burn it, do things of that nature, make it look sweet. Something that I could say was, you know, hand built and custom and cool because I wanted this style of a rig. So that's why we built this. We had the little center console going on. It was built out of, you know, 2x8s and 2x4s and Fantec bolts it right on. We had to figure out how to put the monitors and things of that nature. And that's kind of where I've been for, well, since July of 2019. So my setup hasn't changed much. It's been this wood setup. I've just moved some monitors around and things of that nature, moved rooms, and we built the PC. But now... We're going to get into the main purpose of this. The thing is I've always wanted a setup, a setup that was a basically a premium sim setup that I could enjoy and have good times. And it was NRG Innovations coming in and helping me out and getting this dream setup of mine, something I've dreamed to have for a very long time, a proper sim rig, a proper sim setup you know, multiple monitors to be able to do streaming and chats and all that. So, you know, NRG Innovations definitely came in clutch. So now, where do we go from here? Well, you're about to find out. And this is where we go to today. We have a new SIM chassis. A big thank you to NRG Innovations for hooking me up with their new SIM base. Something I've always dreamt of having is a full proper base. So of course we still obviously still have the PC on the side, all of our NRG Innovations wheels, but this is the new SIM chassis from NRG Innovations. Definitely very great quality metal and fully adjustable with the pedal sliders and everything like that. Keyboard mount, shifter plate, it's even got a freaking cup holder. So this is the new installment of the setup that I will be running. Big 32 inch monitors and of course we have the side monitor for chat. So this is definitely something I've been wanting for a very long time. A full proper sim rig. You know, getting off that wood rig that people would always uh, give me crap for for having, oh, a Fanatec on a wood rig. I love my wood rig, but NRG definitely coming in clutch with this amazingly built and designed the chassis. Can't thank them enough for being a supporter of the channel and supporter of myself and, you know, allowing me all this amazing equipment, you know, the NRG Innovations wheels, the seats, everything like that. So quick look, obviously, in... To the sim setup, we have obviously the NRG seat that I've been rocking for a very long time. And once we get into it, of course, the full Fanatec with the tablet in the back. We have our side monitor. Definitely an amazing picture. Thanks, Rhodes. And then our main monitor, our main MSI curve. And then, of course, we have the vertical mount one for chat, which right now has Discord on, but that is you know, going to be for live streams and things of that nature. And then, of course, the shifter plate with the handbrake and everything on the side. Perfect fit. Fully adjustable pedals. Not wearing my shoes. Those are down there. So it's definitely an amazing thing to me to actually get to the goal I've set to have, which was this amazing chassis and a full blown out sim rig. So once again, I can't thank NRG Innovations enough for this. It's definitely an amazing chassis and something that i will have for a very long time so we will go into another video on this setup and get more in depth on all the ins and outs of the chassis just something i wanted to bring out for you guys so make sure you guys follow me on all social media and as always i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track